Hi, in this video I want to show you how NoPlan is saving your files and how it is synchronizing them with your devices. If you come from NoPlan 2, you will have iCloud Drive as a synchronization method and with NoPlan 3, you will have the option to choose CloudKit. So what's better with CloudKit compared to iCloud Drive? So first of all, CloudKit is faster and more reliable because NoPlan itself can decide when to sync your files because it has a direct API interface. To the synchronization. In iCloud Drive, the operating system decides when to sync a file. This sometimes means the synchronization doesn't happen at all and you need to open the Finder or Files app on iOS. Because iCloud Drive is not really made for real-time synchronization like NoPlan needs it. Whereas CloudKit is made for this or is much better suited for this. So in both cases, your notes are saved as text files on your Mac. And this is how you can find them. So at the top right, you have the Options button in any node. And you can click on Show and Finder to show exactly this node. So here you see I have iCloud Drive enabled. And uh, with the path, you can see it's iCloud Drive, the No Plan, Calendar, and then the file. Um, there are two main folders. So one is the Calendar folder, and the other one is the Notes folder. In the Calendar folder, you have obviously all the daily notes, the Calendar notes. And they're formatted as the year, then the month, and then the day, .txt. So because it's .txt, you can open this file with any other text editor. For example, with the text edit app. And I can also edit the file from here. The notes are formatted in Markdown, means you can open them also in another Markdown app, or with another note-taking app even. So one of the benefits is your, your data is not locked up in a database. It's always on your Mac. And you have the freedom to switch to another app. You're not locked in into the app with the data. So you, there is no export function in NoPlan because your notes are always exported at all times. It's also making it much, much easier to make backups of your notes. So basically what you need to do is you go to the iCloud Drive folder, just copy-paste it to the desktop, for example. Okay, let's continue with the with CloudKit. So both save it in uh, text files. Just the difference is that CloudKit mirrors your local files with a database. And this is how it synchronizes. So you still have the advantage of, of having local text files, but at the same time, they're also in the cloud. So you can work offline with them, and when you come online, NoPlan will automatically figure out which files have changed and upload to the database. And your, on your other devices, they will be downloaded again. Another advantage is, counts also for iCloud Drive, is that you have an end-to-end -end encryption. So in uh, Apple's documentation, you can read about the CloudKit end-to-end -end encryption here, for example, and uh, uh, the key for your encryption is saved in your iCloud keychain, basically. And this means only you have access to your files, to your notes. Not Apple, not the developer, in this case me, have access to your notes, which makes it very secure. The data can be accessed via website, so means it is possible to make a web version of NoPlan. You can access then your files through Windows, for example, or Linux, or even Android. And this is also on the roadmap to build a web version. And all you need is to log in with your Apple ID. CloudKit has better sharing features, so you can, uh, which is already implemented on iOS. You can share a node with another NoPlan user, and this node gets synchronized. It doesn't matter who changes it. The benefits are, as I already explained, your data is not locked up, access to your data offline. So some note-taking apps, they're only accessible through the web browser. Once you have no internet, you, have, you cannot edit your notes anymore. And in other apps, they have native Mac apps, but the data is still somewhere locked up in a database, so you don't have direct access to it. As a developer, I don't even have access to your data. So you have full privacy and, and encryption. Even with the encryption, even Apple uh, doesn't have access to your data in theory. And your data is formatted in Markdown uh, and saved in text files. Means you can open it with any other application and it's not you're not locked in into the app. Now I'm going to show you the preferences, how it looks like in NoPlan. So we open the preferences here at the top. And now you see iCloud Drive is enabled. This would be your default if you come from NoPlan 2. And you can click on use Cloud Kit. And you see a dialog comes uh, up here and asks you if you want to copy your um, files from iCloud Drive to the CloudKit folder. We click Proceed. 
Okay, it's done. Now let's close Node Plan once and reopen it. And you see the synchronization worked already. If we go now into Preferences, now CloudKit is enabled. I click on Advanced and I have here another button to open the local database. And you see your nodes are here copied and the folder changed to Library Application Support. Also, if you make changes to the files themselves, um, you can, uh, NodePlan will pick up the change and synchronize it as well. You just need to have NodePlan 3 running in the background somewhere. So with the advanced options, you can also re-upload the local database. If you think, if you see some inconsistencies, this basically deletes the cloud database and re-uploads all your local files again. And the next option is to re-download all the files from the cloud database. So the other way around, you, it will delete all your local files and re-download them again from the cloud. And if you want to delete all the files, you can also click on this button to delete them locally and in the cloud. And this button helps you to, fig uh, to fix inconsistencies by downloading the latest changes. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you.